Welcome back everyone, it is Ryan with Sticker Status here. Today we have a tutorial video we're gonna be teaching you guys how to fully wrap a box truck. This is the box truck right here. It's a pretty basic box truck for the most part. We don't have rivets up and down the panels, which is pretty nice, most will, but this one does have rivets here along the side and along the bottom we'll have to deal with. Um, but we're gonna be wrapping all three sides, so both sides, the rear, and then we're gonna be putting a decal up on the front. We're not gonna be wrapping the cab in this video, we'll have to do a tutorial on that in a future video, but today we're just gonna be wrapping the two main sides as well as the rear, and kind of showing you guys how to do that. We do a method here called pre-seaming, where we'll actually seam all the panels together because they don't make printers large enough to print one whole side at a time, well they do, but we don't have one of those. We're gonna be seaming it together one panel at a time upstairs on our work table, and then hanging the whole side as one panel, so we'll show you guys how that works as well alrighty so as you guys can see I've got the design here pulled up on Adobe Illustrator and by the way uh, we are going to be doing a totally separate series on how to design these and how to lay these things out and how to print and all that sort of stuff today is gonna be a pretty quick overview a general video on how to wrap one of these box trucks but anyways here's the design here's the panels I was talking about like I said we don't have vinyl or a printer large enough to print all the way down in one strip so this is gonna be one panel this is gonna be one three big ones and then one small one there so we're gonna be wrapping that side we're gonna have a little decal up on the top we're gonna be wrapping the entire rear as well as the passenger side so there's the design there on my computer once the design's done we got to lay it out into a print file for our printer from the computer to the printer jesse what's going on out here guys so this is the hp latex printer that it's kind of a game changer for us because at the end of the day this is one of the things where rubber meets the road as far as quality goes this is definitely the best quality out there uh, it's one of the fastest printers you can get because we do not have to um, wait for the material to gas out for 24 hours. We can go ahead and laminate it immediately after the fact. So we're eliminating errors right off the get-go. And um, at the end of the day, the colors are way more vibrant. And you're going to get a little more stretch if you're wrap wrapping around like rounded corners and things like that. Because latex is going to allow you a little more stretch and maintain your colors. So this is the next step in the process right here. All right, now we got a giant roll of prints right here. Next, gotta go on the laminator right here, showcased by our very own. What's the dude for, or the chick from uh, the, the dude, the chick, the dude, the chick from Jeopardy, or not Jeopardy, the one, the one with the letters, Dana White, not Dana White, <laughs> Vanna White, <laughs> Vanna White. Anyways, that's Chris for us. <laughs> can see guys I've got one whole side done out here we walk around here I think oh yeah second side almost buttoned up here in most cases like I was saying earlier the trucks are gonna have rivets down the whole entire panel but this one we got a little bit lucky they're only on the bottom and on the sides so yeah because normally what normally with the chain of full rivets that was coming down the panel Chris we would have to heat and roll them um, like I said we got lucky and we could just push the air out the side in this case so yeah, two sides almost done. You guys have only been working on this truck for like six hours, not even that. All right, so I'm editing this video right now and I realized I didn't get a whole lot of footage of the rear of the truck or the finished product and that's because our guys worked super fast that day. I was really busy, had a lot of stuff going on, so I didn't get a ton of time to film the end of the truck, but here's what it ended up looking like. The truck looks great, the guys did a great job. And again, this was a super general, very basic video about how to wrap one of these box trucks. So if you guys wanna see like a full in-depth series on how to do this sort of thing or maybe see more of the design side of things or the printing side of things, leave a comment below and let us know what you guys wanna see. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe so you can catch our future videos and we'll see you next time.